Hello friends. So today uh, we will be simulating a CSTR that is a continuous stirred tank reactor using the software DW Sim that is an open source software. We will be simulating a reaction where ethanol and acetic acid reacts to form ethyl acetate and water. So this is a kinetic reaction. This is a irreversible reaction. Now let us see how to proceed. So this is a interface of DW Sim. You can see on top menu you can have file. Uh, let's click on file. So we have new steady state simulation. I have clicked on that. Now a window will appear wherein uh, we have to first enter the uh, the chemical elements which uh, we wish to simulate. So I will press next. So this shows a list of chemicals which are available in the software. Uh, to search for different chemicals, I will type the names. Uh, so first one will be ethanol, which is our base chemical. So you can see the ethanol appears as soon as I search. I will just click tick on this so that it gets selected. Similarly, let me just type acetic acid. So the acetic acid appears. I am selecting it as well. Then water. As I said, the water will also be formed. I am selecting that as well. And the last one is ethyl acetate, which is our product. I am selecting that. Uh, I will proceed to next. So we will have to select property packages, uh, which will be relevant to this particular reaction. So I will be selecting NRTL, which is a non random two liquid model, which is generally used for uh, reactions involving liquid. Uh, it, uh, it uses equations to calculate liquid phase activity coefficients, and enthalpies are also calculated by Lee Kessler model. So, this is the model which fits better for this reaction. That is why it is suggested. So, I will just double click on that. You can see it gets selected on the right hand side window. Then I will press next. This is the window to select system of units. So let me just select C5. So it is based on what kind of parameters we want to see our results in. So I have selected C5 and uh, uh, now I will say, uh, now I will select finish. Okay. Now the next thing I would like to do is to select my material stream so this is my material stream which is a feed stream so when i double click on that the the menu appears now i will just uh, rename it this is feed then uh, flash spec should be temperature and pressure which will be by default then uh, the temperature i would like to do it 70 degrees celsius uh, pressure one and rest is fine but now i need to select compound amounts my ethanol is 0.48 by the way this is uh, mole fractions so please be careful that you select mole fractions here so 0.48 then 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then 0.02, and 0. Uh, so I will say accept changes, and this gets selected. So my feed stream uh, I have selected already. This is how it looks like, and the next will be to uh, configure our uh, reaction mechanism that is uh, the K constant and uh, the stoichiometry. So you can go to edit, click on simulation settings, on top bar you will see reactions, so just click on the reactions. There are two columns now, reaction sets and chemical reactions. So under chemical reaction, press this green icon, which will help us to add a reaction, select kinetic. I will give it a name as a ethyl acetate 
then uh, description i can write uh, irreversible reaction forming ethyl acetate from ethanol and acetic acid so now you can see uh, on this in this table there are uh, different columns so this include column so basically i will have to select all the chemical elements because all are relevant to our reaction that base component is our ethanol stoichiometric coefficient i will write minus 1 minus 1 1 1 and then uh, direct reaction order so this will be 1 1 and uh, rest will be zero so there is no reverse reaction order so that's why I, all four will be zero now this is balanced and so the base is i will select molar concentrations because i want results in molar uh, phase is liquid and t minimum i can write uh, the 300 kelvin let me select erroneous constant so 0. 005 is the value of A for this particular reaction. So I am selecting that. Kilomole per meter cube is selected already. So I am keeping as it is. So now my this reaction is already configured now. We have configured the reaction. So I will I just click OK on this. And I will uh, clear it. And similarly, uh, I will clear this as well after accepting changes. Now, uh, let me just select uh, a reactor which is a CSTR in our case. Now, the next will be I want an output stream as well, which will be our product stream. So, I am selecting a product stream and I want an energy stream. So this is the energy stream. So this is my material stream. I am renaming it as product. Then I am going to this energy stream. I will rename it to energy and press enter. Now let me just uh, configure my CSTR. So inlet stream, outlet stream and energy stream. There are three streams. So inlet I will choose feed, outlet I will choose product and energy I am selecting energy. So this will be by default displayed since we have named our streams like that. You can see these lines appearing. Now I have connected all my streams with our reactor. So reaction state is default. Calculation mode will be isothermic because this reaction proceeds isothermically and not adiabatically. Reactor volume, let me keep it to 0.15 meter cube. So, we are almost uh, uh, done with our uh, configuration settings. Now, uh, we can go to our top tab where you can see these options are given and you have a slow solve flow sheet. You can also use F5. So, I will just press this button and uh, so this solves it in the result side when i click my cstr so there will be a result tab so this is reaction and this is conversion so definitely something uh, has gone wrong here because my ethanol conversion is sh showing some funny value so let me just check what has gone wrong let me just check feed stream first okay so feed should be 70 i think that's the reason why it has not shown the result which we desired so i'll just press enter and compound amounts is fine okay and now i will go again and you can see now the results have changed i will solve it again so i could see 99 percent conversion acetic acid and water then uh, 0.037 hour it has taken now you can play with different 
values if i change uh, my reactor value to 0.14 let me see what kind of results we get so the residence time uh, shifted a bit and conversion two has uh, changed a bit but uh, not a significant difference uh, so you can see that uh, this uh, software can be easily used to basically simulate different uh, uh, packages and there are a lot of other things which uh, can be done say for example you can insert a master property table uh, this appears here you can see double click to edit so once you double click you can select default properties uh, feed and product and once you press once you close this you will get a good very good property table so uh, in coming videos we will be seeing a lot of uh, other features as well of this particular software how we can use this and for now uh, i would say tata bye bye if you like this video please kindly like share and of course subscribe my channel so that i will be encouraged to make more such videos thank you